there's something I've noticed about my natural hair and some people are going to eat me up and tell me that I'm wrong but it's something that I've noticed about my own hair you know people say that hair doesn't grow when it's dirty um that it's a myth and it's a lie and it's not true but my hair maybe it doesn't grow more when it is dirty but my hair is more manageable when it is dirty when products have built up on my hair for a whole month my hair is just easier to detangle i just noticed that my hair is easier to detangle now this hair my hair is dirty like my hair is dirty my scalp needs to be clean like i get the fact that our scalp needs to be clean to encourage hair growth and whole oh, but our hair for me my hair is just easier to manage when it is dirty when i wash my hair when i get rid of all that dirt and i introduce conditioner it's like my hair just receives strength and power it's like thank you for unleashing me <laughs> I've been caged up for so long. My hair shrinks, my hair knots, my hair tangles. It doesn't just, it's just, it's just, it's just no longer obedient. If I try to say, please stay down, it says, no, I'm going to defy gravity. I'm going to stand out. <laughs> and that just makes it harder to manage. But when my hair is dirty and, you know, they have been products in for a whole month, my hair is just easy and it's weighed. I guess it's weighed down. I mean, look at my hair. Look at my hair staying like this. If I wash this hair, <laughs> it receives the strength and power and it no longer listens to anything that I say or anything that I try to get it to do. So if that's just what I think about the whole myth that dirty hair doesn't grow. I guess a dirty scalp doesn't encourage hair growth, but my hair likes product build up. My hair likes when it's covered and drenched and weighed down with products. I don't know, maybe 10 years down the line, I would come back and say, no, that was wrong. But for 10 years plus, that's what I've noticed about my hair. My hair breaks less when it's dirty. My hair is easier to detangle when it's dirty. But once it's clean, that's the end of the game. That's the end. That's game over. Like, I'm not listening to you anymore. You unleashed my superpower. What do you think was going to happen? Like, I can't pack my hair when it's washed and shrunken. But you know, maybe the problem is me. Maybe I'm the one who doesn't understand my hair. Maybe I haven't come across products that I can use. But the product that my money can buy, I don't know. That That's just what I get. When I wash my hair, my hair is clean. My hair is the most powerful. It doesn't... These two hands, these muscles cannot handle my hair. <laughs> so I always wash my hair when it's in sections. I don't let my hair shrink. I can count how many times since I started really taking care of my hair that I let my hair shrink. Just two times. One time was because somebody asked me, like, ah, we've never seen what your hair looks like when it's shrunken. And then I let my hair shrink and then showed how what my afro looked like. And then there was another time when I was feeling really bad about my hair. My hair wasn't really growing. The knots detangled. I just allowed it to shrink. and just reminded myself that my hair is still beautiful. I mean, it forms a really beautiful afro. So I don't need to kick myself in the butt because it's not doing as well as I want it to. So back to the story. My hair is just more manageable when it's dirty. I'm able to retain length because it's more manageable. So there's less breakage. I don't mind my hair getting dirty. I don't mind leaving my hair out dirty. Especially if I want to wear my hair out. So while editing this video, I just realized that I kept saying the word dirty, dirty, dirty. Please, I'm not advocating that we should carry dirty, smelly hair that has like visible products build up on fungi and all of that. No, that's not what I'm trying to advocate for. It's just that I noticed that when I have been moisturizing my hair repeatedly for a whole month and then there's like the products build up on my hair strands, my hair is just more manageable. That is what I have noticed. Please, I'm not saying we should carry around dirty hair. No, I'm not saying that we should dump good hygiene and adopt bad hygiene habits. Not at all. I made this video months ago and I was really skeptical about posting the video just because, you know, after I made this video, I started noticing that my hair has changed. So some of the things I share in this video is not what I'm currently dealing with with my hair. My hair actually metamorphosized. But I still share this video just in case there's anyone watching who can like relate with some of my hair behaviors. I just want you to know that you're not alone in this struggle. You're not alone. Like it's not only your hair that acts this way. And even if your hair acts this way, it's still possible to grow your hair out healthy and long. So please, please, please don't quote me. Don't go and say at the ad. They said that we should burn our hair dirty and smelly. No. I know I use the word dirty, but I really mean 
product build up when you've been layering your hair with a leave-in conditioner so let's get back into the video this month i'm not going to be using any combs on my hair and i'm already worried look at these what do i call them they're not knots they're not tangled i don't know who else has hair that does this my hair likes to clump so i have like a billion clumps i have a billion stretched out clumps which is better than knots and tangles but there are still clumps that I have to <laughs> detangle with my fingers because if I go into the combs, my hair just be like, okay, he decided to use a comb. Hello, breakage. And I'm like, no, I don't want breakage. So I have to use my fingers. These are the things that my hair listens to. My hair listens to my fingers. My hair likes my fingers. They have a good relationship. No combs. <laughs> That's really going to be a whole wash day. I know some people dread wash days, but I look for Let's say I look forward to it. I plan out my wash day. Like it's something I like to do. I like my hair. I like touching my hair. I like my hair. <laughs> I like my hair. I know my hair is high maintenance. I know my hair needs a lot of attention and care. Yeah, maybe I would love if my wash days could be simpler. But I don't hate wash days. I look forward to it. Like I, I plan it. I look for that day where it can just be me and my hair and just taking care of my hair and watching it grow and then respond to care. I like my hair. So let the wash day begin. Let me just show you. My hair is dirty. But look. Look at what it can do. See that? At least I can. I bring my hair together. Many strings. You see what happens when I washed my hair. You watched my video to the end. Thank you so much. You're the real OG. Thank you so much for your support. It means so much to me. But just in case, let me just chip this in. Please like and subscribe. Leave a comment. I reply to comments. Even if it's just an emoji, I would reply. So if you're watching this video the week I posted it, then I will not have posted my wash day routine yet. I post every week and the next video I'll be posting is my wash day routine. If you're interested in seeing that, then turn on your notification so you don't miss when I post the video. Thank you so much. But if you're watching this a week after, I would have posted my wash day routine and I'll link the video right here. Thank you so much. See you in my next video. Au revoir.